we were pulling our hair out over the lack of data. For three years, State Supreme Court Justice Cheryl Gordon McLeod co-chaired the study looking into how women, especially those of color, are treated in Washington's prisons and courts. One finding, women of color get longer prison sentences than white women. That was an eye opener for me. But McLeod says many of the findings only highlight issues all too familiar for many. This is not a surprise to the black, indigenous and other women of color or to the people involved in the criminal justice system. The study found black, indigenous, and women of color face prison sentences two to eight times longer than white women for the same crimes. Additional findings, court costs hurt single mothers the most. While incarceration rates are declining for men, they're increasing for women. Are you guys ready? A lack of affordable child care prompts mothers to miss court dates. Juries and law firms do not reflect the racial makeup of the state. These are all findings that prompted the committee behind the study to suggest potential fixes to legislators. The recommendations include setting up child care centers inside courthouses, paying jurors more, allowing more appearances to be done online. They're all looked at as ways to give women, especially single mothers, more of a fair shake. We want the community in there and we don't want portions of the community, women, people in poverty, single mothers, as you said, um, being excluded. Is justice blind? Because this report does not suggest that. Blind is an interesting word. Blind or neutral often means status quo. Justice Jordan McLeod notes there was a time the U.S. justice system supported slavery. So I would say justice has totally improved but status quo is not enough and real neutrality which is not status quo but which is change is really where this these data are pointing us to drew mickelson king five news